In today's morning rounds, a warning about panic buying over the coronavirus. The World Health Organization says people are snapping up medical supplies, and that could put health care workers at risk. The outbreak caused a run on surgical-style masks and hand sanitizers and other preventative items. But is all that really necessary? Mola Lenghi spent the day inside a Georgia production facility to find out how people's response to the virus is stressing the supply chain. The floor here at Medicom's Augusta, Georgia factory is buzzing. They're working nearly around the clock to fill demand. We're really busy and we've been doing some overtime. We've been working on the weekend, trying to make sure we get um, all of our customers what they need. Protective masks of every kind are flying off store shelves around the country, including a run on hand sanitizer. As fears of a spreading coronavirus have catapulted sales of protective medical supplies. Trying to uh, help government agencies to work together. Guillaume Labrador is the chief operating officer of Medicom, a global supplier of infection control products. What sort of numbers in terms of increase have you seen here at your plants? We can't cope with the demand. The demand is multiplied by 5, 10. It, it's just, just uh, out of any proportion that we've seen in the past. This factory is moving as briskly as it can, but it might not be fast enough to keep up with a nervous public's appetite. We don't recommend them for the general public. Denver Health Chief Medical Officer and Infectious Disease Researcher Dr. Connie Savour-Price says the dwindling mask supply is worrisome. I am concerned about our hospital facilities and our ability to deliver uh, continued care, not only for coronavirus, but other routine illnesses. A standard surgical mask is effective at resisting large airborne droplets or other fluids, but is not designed to filter viruses. Its loose fit also makes it easier for droplets to enter around the edges of the mask. The N95 respirator is an upgrade, a tight, custom-fitted mask that forces inhaled air toward the mask's body and not its edges. It's capable of filtering out 95% of particulates, including small droplets, but not viral particles. In fact, it could have the alternative, undesired effect of transmitting these infections more readily to the untrained wearer. There's no role for these masks in the community. Despite pleas from public health officials. For everyday New Yorkers, there's no need to use a mask. Panic buying of surgical masks seems to continue. And this struggle to meet the demand is not specific to your company. It's industry-wide. It's all over the industry, in all over the countries. So we have a factory in France. We're facing exactly the same uh, challenge. For CBS This Morning, Mola Lenghi, Augusta, Georgia. Yeah. Mola, thank you very much. Well, I Gail, was thinking about well, it. Well, we heard now, it from the federal people, know, we from the local people, and now let your co-anchors tell you you do not need a mask. <laughs> yeah, but not. you might want to be by mask futures. I'm not going <laughs> to.